Welcome to my next video. Can you hear that? This is the magic forest in the springtime. I love evenings like this one. Peaceful atmosphere, me sitting in the grass, photographing roe deer and listening to the birds preparing for the night. In today's video, I would like to tell you what I've been doing lately and what I'm working on in the field of photography. I want to introduce you to the life of a hobby photographer in Slovakia and tell you what's new in the magic wood. In winter, in my first English vlog, I introduce you to my favorite place the magic wood. This forest isn't really called so, it's just my name for it, but some of my friends are already using it and I am very happy about it. In the winter the animals were less active and since last year I have had trouble seeing roe deer in the places where I met and photographed them. As I said in my vlogs, it was probably caused by a pandemic and by more active movement of people in nature, even in places where I had been alone before and hadn't met anyone. Thanks to my friend, I therefore decided to start using game cameras. I wasn't very fan of it before, I don't like to leave an expensive things in the woods. However, I was desperate and needed to know where the animals were, what they were doing during the day and I needed to find out if they were still in the magic wood at all. These were really hard times. I used a camera that took only photos and then a camera that made videos. I found out that the forest didn't remain empty and even that the roe deer were still in it. New inhabitants of the forest appeared on the camera, whom I had no idea about before, such as a badger or a wildcat. This activity excited me and thanks to it, it wasn't so terrible during the winter. Before you place the photo trap somewhere, you need to choose a good location. Study something about the animal you want to capture on the photo trap. Pay attention to the terrain, tracks and so on. If I wasn't actually checking game cameras or tracking animals tracks, I was discovering life on our Tourista River.
I had the chance to spend time with ducks and dippers. It was very interesting to watch and discover life by the river and the behavior of birds. At the end of the winter, I met a wild cat and I was given a wonderful experience with it. I watched her for an hour basking in the warm rays of the sun and watch her hunting. It was one of those unforgettable experiences. I began to meet a roe deer with a beautiful antlers. I haven't seen such beautiful and large antlers for a long time. This roe deer is very clever and careful. Sometimes I feel like he is a ghost. He just appeared and disappeared quickly. It wasn't easy to take picture of him. I waited for him until almost complete darkness. I started seeing more and more roe deer and it started to look like the times when I met them there regularly. However, they are very careful and ran in the bushes at the slightest sound. Spring has come. My favorite season, as I said it many times. Everything is waking up to life. There is more and more green in nature and the trees are white as snow. The air smells of spring, pollen, the buzzing of bees' wings. I have moved the traps to other places several times because with the arrival of spring the animals also moved. I focused on the badger as it appeared quite often on the photo trap. However, I couldn't make his video, so that's my goal this time, but I haven't been lucky yet. However, I managed to shoot a roe deer that is expecting of spring. It is clear in the shot how her new life moves in the bubbles. 
This is a very valuable shot for me and I am very happy that a new life will soon be born in the magic wood. Spring is the time when new life comes to the forest, so we should be quiet and if we find a cup or fawn, there is no need to touch it. Mom is close, you can trust me. I spent the last days in illness and I didn't have the opportunity to be in the woods, but I miss it so much. A virus prevented me from being where I love it so much. Well, I feel better and I am ready to enjoy the beautiful spring forest. However, the forest hasn't yet fully blossomed. The grass is already green, but some trees are still waiting to bloom. I want to bring you more videos of spring forest sounds, new vlogs, wildlife trips. But I'm currently busy creating my new home. I will get married this summer and I am very happy about it. There are a lot of ideas at the moment which I would like to present you in form of videos, but uh, I am looking forward to sharing them with you soon. Hopefully. Thanks for watching this video. I'd love for you to support me by sharing, liking and subscribing this video. See you in the magic wood.